Hello, Dr. Suriki here and welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is a continuation of my Making Math Fun series for elementary learners. In today's lesson, I'll be sharing tips and strategies to help our elementary learners understand shapes, particularly angles and shapes, better. Everything has a shape. We give some shapes names based on the way they look. When we notice what a shape looks like, we're usually talking about the shape's properties. Looking at a shape's properties can help us determine how similar or how different a shape is from another shape. Four common properties include the face, edge, vertex, and the angle. We usually find the angle of a shape at the vertex of the shape. Angles are usually formed when two lines intersect at a point. The measuring of the opening between these two rays and points is what we refer to as an angle. Angles are represented by this symbol and we measure angles in degrees and radians. Angles are part of our everyday, day-to-day -day life. Different types of angles include acute angle, less than 90 degrees, a right angle, which is exactly 90 degrees, obtuse angle, which is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, a straight angle, exactly 180 degrees, a reflex angle greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees, and a full rotation which is exactly 360 degrees. We measure angles in units called degrees. The symbol for a degree is a tiny circle. Again, angles are all around us and angles are an important property of shapes that we see all around us. For more tips and strategies, especially on shapes and angles, please visit my website. Thank you for learning with Dr. Osweke today. See you in the next lesson.